I have a good friend named Raven who has an Australian radio tech talk show. And he suggested to me that I have a look at this next distribution. And of course, I'm speaking of AV Linux. And after having a look at it, I am convinced that this is the best uh, multimedia Linux distribution for enthusiasts like me. And I'm going to show you that today on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to AV Linux. It's not very often when somebody suggests a Linux distribution to me that really trips my trigger. Thank you, Raven, for suggesting this. This is what Artist X should have been. Now, this is using a nice, lightweight LX or XFCE user interface. It uses XFCE. And the thing I like about XFCE is that it is highly customizable. And uh, this also supports Compiz, by the way. You get four desktops to choose from, uh, your standard uh, complement of icons here. And then, of course, you have your uh, QJack control a terminal. You get the WBAR dock if you wish to use it. Ice Weasel, which is the unbranded Firefox. You get the Thunar file manager, and then of course, a quick link to your AV Linux control panel. And another nice thing about it is, this gives you documentation right on the desktop, so it will answer your questions, you know, before you even start using this thing. And uh, that's something, you know, uh, that is always helpful for people, especially when they're trying out a new distribution. Okay, a number of accessories are included with this so that you can get the most out of the system. A lot of audio tools are covered here. You have your sequencers. You have your uh, tools for, uh, for uh, writing your uh, notation and your music. Uh, you get uh, the Audacity, which is great for editing audio files. Uh, the Festige is a tool which will allow you to use your VST plugins. Here is Guitarix, which is a mono amplifier simulation. And if you want to get that realistic guitar sound and that sort of thing, you really want to have a amplifier included. So they, so it's great that they've included this. They even have tuners and that sort of thing. A, the hydrogen drum machine is a great accompaniment. So when I'm sitting down playing the guitar and I don't have anybody to jam out with, you know, at least I can fire that up program a nice little drum beat and play along with it all right and uh, not a you know not a whole whole lot by comparison to the uh, artist X but definitely the best of everything okay and then of course you have your notation editor here the Rose Garden that's what I was speaking of there's a lot of applications to look through in here but you can be assured that you're getting the best of them. Okay, and then of course in graphics, you can even make your own fonts on this thing. I'm, that's cool to see that they included the Font Forge with this. You get the GIMP Inkscape uh, included with this. Uh, you have a few applications for the internet, FileZilla for FTPing those video files up, those uh, multimedia files that you create. You can FTP them up. You get the uh, Ice Weasel Composer for building your web pages. Uh, you get transmission uh, for those of you who will be seeding your videos. And, um, and then, of course, XChat IRC to get support on this thing. Okay, and then, of course, a number of plugins for Jack. Jack is the power behind all of this. It is a low latency uh, sound uh, architecture. And uh, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that, and eventually I'll uh, be able to explain more on it. Really, I wish there was more I could say. You also get the full LibreOffice suite. A few programming tools come included and some sound card utilities as well. And then, of course, uh, your system tools are located right here. This even includes Compiz, Fusion, uh, Remaster SIP, Remaster SIS for backing up your system. And then, of course, uh, System Profiler Benchmark and UNet Boot. Um, I already spoke about Festige. Festige allows you to import your VST plugins 
and this has wine installed to be able to do that uh, because uh, most VST plugins that you would have nowadays a lot of them are dynamic link libraries or DLLs and because uh, because those are required uh, in Windows and for the most part I've had some very good luck with getting some VST plugins working, but sometimes I've had them crash. So you're gonna have to play around and experiment with this. I always say experimentation is key. And then of course, in video, you have a number of other tools here to work with. You have the AVI Demuxer, you get Blender, which is a one not only a wonderful 3D modeler, but it also does uh, animation and it does video sequencing. And uh, of course you get Cinelera, which is a wonderful compositor, DVD, uh, DB Grab. You get uh, the desktop recorder with this. Um, you get Kadian Live. Lives is also included. Not quite as good as Kadian Live, but Lives is good in its own right. You get a movie player and the open shot video editor. And the nice thing about that, because this already has Inkscape and Blender included, you can easily use uh, in, in open shot, you can easily. Uh, modify those titles and do uh, and use the uh, 3D um, title effects and that sort of thing that come preloaded with it. I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Thank you once again, Raven. I'm definitely going to install this on my backup computer that I have as uh, as a multimedia toy for me to play with because there are a number of things that I have never had a chance to have a look at, and uh, this is something that will uh, definitely allow me to. Uh, possibly bring more excitement to my own multimedia publications that I have up now. All right, well, that's all I have on this one. Definitely check out AV Linux. I think it's going to be well worth your time. Mm -hmm.